Good morning everybody and welcome back to something a little a little bit different. If you're new here, my name is Luke and I'm part of the Master Sword Valley. But yeah, I said today's different because it's actually going to be involved on my phone. Today, technically yesterday, June 20th, was the release date of the new Harry Potter game Wizards Unite, which is uh, something like Pokemon Go except it's Harry Potter. And it looks really cool. I already have the game. I'm already like level 5. So I just got to do my morning stuff real quick. Like hop in the shower and get dressed and all that. Then I'll show you guys the game. Then we'll go out and I'll show you what all is around. Okay, I just got showered and basically dressed and everything. So I'm ready to do this. Not quite. <laughs> if I'm going to be doing Harry Potter content, you got to embrace Harry Potter. It might be crooked. Okay, so I'm booting up the game again, and... Oh, that's cool! There was like a little flashy intro before starting. They gave, they gave a stay safe message about don't drive while playing this game. Nice. Got some experience. Okay, okay so, now, so now I'm in the game of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And, like I said, it's a, it's basically Pokemon Go, but without the Pokemon. You have wizards, and you, you can do magic and stuff. Now, now, on the world, you have certain items that you can pick up, like an armadillo bridle. You have some dinity, and you have some port keys. These port keys are basically are like the egg incubators from Pokemon Go, if anyone remembers that. Like that. Scurvy bags. And you notice the, these somewhat medallions out there. Those are basically the content of this. Basically you tap on one and depending on which one it is, you, it goes into certain categories. Like the, I think the one I have here is sports. So you move your, so you move the phone around, I guess to let it scan the area that you're in, and then it'll just pick a location of this. This, this is a giant troll. The threat level means how accurate you have to be with the spell. So you basically have to trace the spell like that. It'll, it, you can get fair, good, great, or masterful. I got fair right there. And it worked! It's kind of random chance if it works or not. So that, that's basically the game. It's called a collectible. Kind of collectible. Magical megaphone, sweet! Yeah, so that was magical games and sports. I don't understand how a troll fits into that. But you know what? Whatever. So we, get a bunch, so we get a bunch of experience. Yeah, I'm already level 5 in the game. Okay. So then, once you get a new item, you place it in your registry. So you place it there. Basically the story is that there was like a calamity or something that happened. It wasn't Calamity Ganon from Breath of the Wild. But basically, like, a bunch of objects have, been, have gone missing and need to be returned in their proper place. So, I believe what I believe this one is like Castle Grounds or something. Like, it was, it was light blue with a claw on it. Just scan the area. And, Hag and it's Hagrid in a web there. Whoa! So that threat was very high. Which I haven't seen yet. Depending on how, low, how high the threat level is, the magic will resist. So you have to trace the magic better. And if you go off course at all, then you're... That calls it in, incomplete and you just have to do it again. It has to be about speed and accuracy to how close you are to the spell. Because when you start tracing it, it disappears. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what happened... Because, so I'm pretty sure if you fail, if you fail it, they just disappear like, like what just happened there. Go for that one. I don't exactly remember which one this is. I think this is I think this is the Ministry of Magic, the red one with the locks on them. So scan the area. Right here. Come on, yeah. There it is. Tap. Threat level low. So this should be really easy. Oh, flip. That was awful. Defendo. Tap. Thanks for that. I don't even know what that was. A rubber brawl. Hmm. 
We got that. Oh, so the red is mysterious artifacts. Okay. Okay. All right, so that so that's base that's basically how the game works. Now I'm gonna oh, I forgot to show you guys. In true Harry Potter fashion, that's my profile. And tr trust me, the glasses are actually like a like a filter on the. It's a filter on the actual game. That wasn't me putting on these glasses because these glasses will look crooked if it in the picture. But yeah, that's basically how the game works. Now I'm gonna go out probably up north to. Uh, a mall up there, the Flatirons Mall in Colorado, and I'm gonna walk around and see what is out there. So I'll see you guys out there. Hold on, before I go, I gotta get caffeinated. That's good stuff. Um, by the way, th this is not a, this is not a sponsored video at all by Niantic or Starbucks or practically anybody. Uh, I'm I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just. I really like the game, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna show it out to you. Mmm, that's some good stuff. And don't worry, I'm not a stupid driver who, when back when Pokemon Go was a thing in 2016, I'm not a stupid driver who plays it in the car. Okay, whoa. Okay, yeah. There's a lot more stuff here at the. In an effort to combat the calamity, innkeepers from across the world have agreed to supply witches and wizards with free food. Their generosity will help keep you energized on your travels. Make certain you thank them. Wait, what? Are you spelling? Oh, Jay the Glyph to receive your food. Oh, trace it. Okay, so I got some energy. I don't know what this kind of stuff is. Okay, so I believe this one right here is the school. The one, the one that I have right here. Where is it? Where, where could it be? There it is. Well, I got a cactus. See if I can do better with one hand or not. But when I first tried it, I was doing a lot better with just with two hands, having one on the phone and one to trade. Oh, that's cool. Turn to Professor Sprout. Turn the collectible. Professor Sprout. I must collect four Professor Sprouts to return her to her proper place in time. That's pretty cool. Um, what, what now? It's a little hard to see. Just just because of the sun. Um, what the heck is that? The Mickey Mouse Fortress. Are those the equivalents of gems? Wait, what? I seriously don't know what else this. Let's see, where is this one? I don't even know what I clicked. Oh, there it is. Okay, so some of them you have to actually return to your spot. I don't, I don't blame them, that's that makes sense. Oh, there we go. It resisted again. Oh, it disappeared. Man. Okay. So I'm gonna go into the mall and actually check out what some of this stuff is. <sighs> okay. So, so I'm inside the mall and apparently there's a lot more a lot more stuff here. I um, I don't remember which one could oh wait, it was I think it was the treasures or something. It's a moving night! Oh it's severe oh this one's gonna be hard. That is garbage. I'd be amazed if I got it. I was too low level, so it disappeared. Are you serious? Wait. Do I 
found another found another one of these inns. Wait, oh, I'm right here. That's cool. Let's see. That's, that's cool that it's actually outside. Okay. So, so this big tall statue is the Mickey Mouse Fortress. I don't know what it is. I don't know if those are if those are similar to the gyms or what. Let's get my just get my collectibles here. Scan it. Yeah. I guess this is why I shouldn't wear glasses. They itch like crazy. I know these aren't real glasses, but. He's scared of the slug. It's kind of weird that they like disapparate or something. I don't know. It, just, it looks really weird. Got that one. Put it in its rightful place in time. Okay, so that, that was part of the dark arts. I think it's something I haven't started yet. Got water. Another thing for the school. Let's see where. Where is this thing? Let's see. Probably like some sort of idiot going around with their phone and their camera in hand. Ooh. So now, so this is unrelated to the school. You'll find like. Uh, Hogwarts students that actually like, need help. I, I don't know if you follow me on Twitter, but I had one I post, picture I posted on Twitter of this game where it was where it was I joked about, oh my god, a ferret attacked my desk! And that thing it actually happened. Like a student was turned into a ferret and they were like attacking my desk so I waved a stick at it. It's just a joke, okay? Oh man, it Oh wow, that was terrible. Yeah, the spell's incomplete, it just won't count. Come on now. That's great. Mm -hmm. Looks like it worked. Okay. Sorry about that, I was just checking the time on my... <clears throat> Taking the time on my camera because I found out my ca this camera that I'm recording with only goes up to 30 minutes a clip. Okay, we got the help. I already have the help plus student from yesterday. <coughs> okay, so what is this fortress? When the foundable spell was cast, these fortresses appeared across the world, trapping the rarest and most powerful foundables inside. Hermione thinks the challenges found within fortresses could be some sort of a magical. Test. I don't know if that's. A good or a bad version of Daniel Radcliffe speaking Harry, as speaking as Harry Potter. Okay, so I don't even know what this is. So it's a runestone to use. Yeah, I, I. We're just about to start. You're ready to, be, you're ready to be tested. Wait. What? Visiting challenges to beat two foes to win. To have a photo engage in combat. By Friday, by it'll probably be like Sunday. What? Yeah, I have I have no idea what what this is. I guess this is like the the gym of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Is that it right there? It is. Well, it looks like you're in for a bit of a fight. You'll have to defeat this foe in combat. Oh boy. Punch your one at the target icon. Once the meter is filled, cast a spell by tracing the glyph. Casting does bonus damage. Spells that hit your foe reduce stamina. When a foe's stamina near zero, they'll be vulnerable and you can take them out. Cast the pig. 
There you go. Nice. Okay, that's really easy. There we go. There you go. Boom. Okay, so it just reduces the damage. It doesn't actually protect, protect you from it. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, this game is a lot better than Pokemon Go in my opinion. I mean, so what? You may like Pokemon or, or something, but I really like this game. Because it, cause this is actually fun. Defend! Ooh, that's close. Go for it. Yep, yep. Eyes on the down. So I guess this is what potions do, yeah. You can make certain potions in the game, and I guess this is what they do. Okay, and I beat him. Okay. Again, I don't know what this is. We have a Death Eater now. I guess I'll... I guess I'll go ahead and do all of these fights and then show you guys what the reward is. Okay, so, so what I've just been told from, from Harry Potter is that uh, what, once you do these, you get a really, you get rewarded with a actual, an actually tough collectible uh, yourself. I think, like I got a, I think I got a book on uh, like advanced trick, tri transfiguration, ah, excuse me. Yeah. I'll let, okay, that's cool, yeah. It's, it, I guess it is similar to the gym of, of Pokemon Go. <laughs> Or of Harry, of Harry Potter. I don't know. Okay, so all the failures with that, with that one collectible, the troll in the mirror, apparently I wasn't recording on my phone all that time. But, bas but basically what happened is that I failed. I failed at capturing it. it just, I just couldn't catch it for whatever dumb reason. So I had to end up, so I ended up running away. Okay, so I've reached level six and now I can apparently choose a profession between Auror, Mez, Magic zoologist, it's hard to say, or professor. Um, let's see. Or is a combat veteran who defeat foes by combining their in innate leadership with a litany of debilitating spells, or are most effective against dark forces. A zoologist, that's basically what Hagrid does, and then professor is what all uh, the Hogwarts profes professors do. I think I'm gonna go with Auror because because I do like attack. Brilliant! We'll get you started training straight away. Because I like, I want to work with Harry Potter. Special the training, special training, the lesson. Huh. Two lessons. Or fundamentals. What's this one? Okay. Protego practice. Okay. The Flitwick method. Uh, weakening hex and paraphil by lowering the power. Sure, why not? Let's see. This is all. This is, this here is all new stuff for me because I've like I've never seen. It. Yeah. Third position. I need four to upgrade that. All right, cool. All right, it's my registry. Sorry, I'm just I'm just going through my I'm just going through my stuff. See what all can I I can like place and stuff. Plus, I think I need to empty my inventory because yeah, it's limited to only like 50 items. Okay, got a book there. Port keys. Oh, this one's almost done. Let's go with the silver key. Hmm. Potion. Oh, that's right. In this game, in this game, there is brewing, and I have a, and I have a potion ready. And it's a the previous spell casting about trades and combat. Cool. Let's see. What can I brew? I could brew another one. Nah, nah. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna go and brew another one because, like, this is. So, 
So you have like traces to do for these potions. So I believe this that this ex extemulo potion is up, up, clockwise. So you so you have so you have master notes, and you have to do certain traces in order to. What is it? In order to, you can actually make the brewing speed go by faster. I think I need to empty my inventory. I don't need five waters altogether. Now I believe I can pick that up. Dragon liver. Alright, so found another collectible here. Um, oh, there it is. So apparently we have to search for these traces and look up. Hedwig, no! What? I think it's in the wall. I can't return to it. I can't return. I, you know what? I'm gonna leave. And I'm gonna try again. Yeah. The, there was a magic marker. I think it was like in the wall. Please don't be in the wall. Let's see. Oh no, it's Edwig! I think that's low. This should be easy. That was green! Uh, it's not masterful yet. Oh, what? That should be a good one. Why? Yeah, we got Hedwig now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Nice. We got Hedwig back. Goes in the potions room. I thought it'd just be in the regular school. I mean, it is Legend of Hogwarts. Oh, potions classroom. Room requirement one. Oh, okay. That's cool. This is my third. Oh, it's out of range. Can we walk back there? There are you. Oh, man. Let's see. Whoops, sorry. So apparently now there's, there's something else. I'm gonna see if I can make my way over there. And check that out before I like, call it. Like, it's that, it's that thing over, come on. That thing. It's the West Greenhouse? Yeah, that's, that's south. So I have to go that way. So I have to go in that direction, it looks like. Huh, let's see. If it's a walking distance, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, I made it my way over to that spot, and uh, this clip right here just shows that I saved a Gryffindor student, which is something new. Now this is the greenhouse out here. Okay, what the heck? Uh, you. Two ginger roots, two spell energy. Okay, that's pretty cool. Huh? Oh, there's something now. Rabbit. Rabbit! Let's see. Let's move around. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Whoa. Oh, the trolls juggling, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's pretty cool. Prophecy record. Let's go. Who's this? 
mall security guy driving around. Alrighty, cool stuff. Okay. I guess I guess now I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over by where the AMC and movie theater and there's a couple other stores over there. I'm gonna go walk over there, see what see what's there, and then likely head home because like I saw because my weather app showed me here in Nevada that it was gonna like start thundering and storming at about noon. So I'm I'm gonna go check over there and let you know what I find. Okay, so I found a different port key. It's a boot and. Apparently it'll take you take me like some special location with a special collectible or something. I have no idea. So let's go ahead and use it. Um, if it'll load, I think it's trying to connect to some close by Wi-Fi around here. Oh, wait. Huh? Where? Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy, because I'm moving my whole body as well as the camera. Porky. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What the heck? Where'd it go? Okay, wow, there's a lot over here. Okay. There's a lot over here. Got an inn right here. I guess it's like Pokemon Go, they just find some random picture of a monument or something and turn it into like an inn. Like a greenhouse. Oh, I'm right here. That's cool. Uh, let's go with that one. It's too snowy. Yeah. Cool stuff, bruh. I know, I know it's out of range. If we turn soon. Okay, well, looks like that's it for what's in this area. So I guess I'll see you guys back at home. Okay, guys. Um. I forgot, uh, one thing I did forget to mention that I'm just here outside AMC seeing what movies are on right now. And about a week and a half, expect um, to be back here. And I'm going to be making a video about me coming back here to see the new Spider-Man Far From Home that comes out on July 2nd. But it's going to be something a little special. I just, <laughs> I just funny, find it funny that I came here on the day that the new Child's Play movie came out because apparently it come, came out today June 21st I just thought that was kind of funny I guess one t one tip I can offer what is this car doing? there's a Subaru in front of me being incredibly dumb um one tip I can offer is if if you're driving just have have the game open but don't play it at all yeah don't don't play the game at all just do this just so that you can you can be you you can be walking around and just so the game thinks that you're walking around and so you can get the port your port keys if you have any 
um, like hatched. I, I get unlocked is more what I mean. So that is basically the game. It's Magic Pokemon Go. You saw, saw how it works. And uh, I, I think it's really fun, personally. I, I'm, ha I'm already having a ton of fun with the game. I, I like it that much. But, yeah, that's, I guess that's going to go ahead and do that for, for this. Sorry, sorry. I just got home, got upstairs, and I just, I'm out of breath. I don't know why. And anyway, that's going to go ahead and do it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure you stab that like button down below. Uh, leave a comment about what, if you have any questions or what you want to see next on my channel. And subscribe while you're at it. I will always take someone new to MSV. But I guess that's going to go ahead and do it. My name is Luke, and say it with me. Stay strong and feel the power. See ya. Do visit while riding on a train. It was pretty cool. There was like warthogs, there were leopards, mountain lions, lions. There were llamas and kangaroos. All sorts of animals. It was something. So I don't know if we'll go do that or what we'll do. So our group girl, my aunt and uncle, went over to the ride by the temple, which is a really fun